Claire Zhang, a local medical practitioner, and she's an oriental medical doctor. Dr. Zhang, could you tell us a little more, more about oriental medicine? Yes, thank you, Elizabeth. Oriental medicine, in fact, is a traditional medicine. It's original from China. In China, we call it a traditional Chinese medicine. And it's including acupuncture, herbal medicine, Trina acupressure. It's a very, very natural medicine. So if it's so nature-based, what are the underlying principles? I've heard some stuff about qi and pressure points. How do those play into those um, practices? Yeah, because uh, in the traditional Chinese medical theories, we view the body is a uh, vital uh, energy flow in the body from the one meridian to another meridian within the uh, specific direction. So if the meridian, the energy in the meridian is a blockage or is out of the balance or is deficient, that's your health problem coming up. And Chinese medicine is to view your body as a part of the universal, so they open to universal for that. So your body is affected by the weather, by the diet, by your exercise, by environment will always affect your health. So Dr. Zhang, if the body is powered by some sort of vital energy, how do you know if it's unbalanced or balanced? Can you tell? Yes, because based on traditional Chinese medicine, where it will be when the patient comes in, the first thing you have a like have a full base diagnosis, base examination. Uh, in China, they call it uh, Wang Wen Wen Qian. So Wang it means looking, looking the patient's color, looking their the position they're walking or their you know all the body shape and you know and uh, that is looking for them. and looking for the color, the, also the tongue color, that is skin color, all these. And then when it's uh, smelling, that means uh, you know some people have the like the some people have some smell the yeah the problem they have to because before we don't have a like lab exam so they all from the the smell they will smell some discharge or something they all from the smell to to that. That's the the third one. It's uh, Asking when, which is asking. So I ask more detail about what your symptom, what you uncomfortable, your lifestyle, what you diet, you know, even your bowel movement, you know, the constipation or diarrhea or digestion problem too. So and then the check that means the pulse check. So check the pulse. So both sides we have to check and see what the pulse have. So with the energies that are inside our body that you call the vital energy of qi, what is the relationship of the human energy versus the rest of the energy in the entire universe? Yes, that's a good question. Because uh, uh, the our human body, based on the traditional Chinese medical theories, our human body is the open to the universal. So we are part of the universal of that. So universal energy definitely will affect our body energy. Like a lot of people in clinic, you can see a lot of people, like they have a more headache because the weather changed to be humid, or, you know, before the, the rain coming up, or storm coming, the body have some effect from that. So that is Chinese medicine very focused on that. Of course, when your body is energy is strong, your feeling will be not affected by the outside, the effect will not that much. But if you are weak, you will feel more the effect of that. And including the outside pollution, of course, definitely we know that they will be affected. 
vital energy. So what are some differences between Oriental medicine and what we know now as modern Western medicine? Well, the key difference is uh, our modern medicine is more based on the lab test, you know, more about the, you know, the, the test. And Oriental medicine is uh, because it's from traditional development for thousands of years. So they are more to be more about talking to you from your object to from your eyes and the doctor's experience to test the patient. So because the Western medicine is more go to detail, the more they cut the big body, whole body to be small, identical, what is the, the local? What is the, so they cut more they from the big body and then small, small, small to the back. And Chinese medicine is from one symptom and to find out, find out the bigger one. So they both the different. The one is from the big to be small, to be focused only one. Yeah. So for example, like headache, is a, a Western medicine will treat the headache only on your head, mm -hmm. right? But Chinese medicine is not. Your headache maybe cause a lot of problem not only on your head and because maybe in the other problem. Like for example, maybe your constipation. If you handle the constipation, maybe it will be beneficial for your head. So this is it's not like you head have a problem only to your head. You make something else to to relate it together. So would you say that there are advantages to Oriental medicine over the Western medicine? Well, we cannot say exactly say that, but both medicine have their uh, advantage and they have a limitation. So, like chronic condition, a lot of pain problem, the Chinese medicine handle very very good for that. You know, because uh, Western medicine only control the symptom, but like for some problem health problem like stroke, heart attack or some trauma, brain trauma, that's just a waste of medicine advantage of that. But if you combine together, the medical program is more comprehensive mm -hmm. and beneficial for the public. 